Shalom, my dear friends. We're all messengers of Rabbi Shalom Arush, and we're dedicating this amazing class to the full healing of Esther Bat Batya, Yoela Gavel Bat uh, Francis, and Baruch Ben and the whole Am Yisrael and all Jewish people in the whole world. It says here like this: This garden of healing is amazing. Know that also, just uh, also that just an, as even the tiniest, most seemingly insignificant creation is lovingly watched over, listened to, and readily held by Hashem. Certainly, someone who immediately turns to Hashem with a muna with faith, and really wants to know and connect to Hashem, using his own words and speaking with total sincerity, will find that his every request will be acted upon and that all he lacks will be fulfilled. Rabbi Nathan explains, well first we have to explain the situation. Even the tiniest worm gets his breakfast, lunch, and dinner, brunch, whatever you want, from God himself. God cares about even the tiniest worm. That's what it says. And so when we hold on to that amazing, infinite mercy of Hashem, like, we have to say, like, Abdul Moshe Kasuto brought a story from Yitziat Mitzayim, the Exodus in Egypt, where we came out of Egypt, and ooh, I need more pictures. Go make more pictures. Uh, I already did it. Two more. I, but I already did it. Make two more pictures. I want to go in the video. But no, hold on. Make two more pictures and then we can go in the video. No. Here. I don't want to. Please. Go check on Leshi and give her this picture. Okay. okay. When we came out of Egypt, we went to the sea and the angels were happy. The Egyptians were dying and the angels were happy. And God looked at the angels and said, My creations are dying and you are happy? You can imagine the Egyptians were worse than the Nazis. They were horrible. They did the worst things in the world. I did it. Can you bring this to Leshi? Yeah. Thank you. They were worse than the Nazis, and Hashem still had mercy on them. Can you imagine? Hashem was crying that the, His creations are dying. That's Hashem. So we can say that Hashem is so merciful on every creature. And the worm, even the tiniest worm, and the tiniest... Can you bring this to Leshi? Tiniest mosquito, the ti Hashem is infinitely merciful. So, with that, we have to know that Rabbi Natan of Breslev, Rabbi Nachman's student, says any situation where you see something lacking indicates that either the person didn't pray for what was needed or didn't pray sufficiently, didn't pray enough. Meaning that with adequate prayer, anything lacking can be achieved. Anything that you lack. Oh, please bring this one to her. Yeah, the other one? Yeah, and this one too. Anything lacking that you have. Any difficulty you have, you have to pray on. You have to just pray on it. Hashem just wants you to pray. And why? Why is this? Why? We explain it very simply. The purpose of our life is to have a relationship with Hashem, to reveal His mercy on us, to reveal that mercy. Oh, I, I told you about the Egyptians. We revealed the mercy the a little bit. One? Absolutely, this one too. And the other one. That's it. And we reveal this mercy, we just, okay, so little by little by little by little, five minutes a day, you can reveal Hashem's mercy. And with Hashem's mercy revealed in your life, you can have a connection with Him, because you can connect with Hashem. He's merciful, He's amazing, I can connect, I can talk. Oh, I did it! When I connect and talk, then I'm connected with Hashem. And that's the purpose of, the, of the, my life, the whole world, is to connect to Hashem. Hashem wants to reveal His mercy, that's the purpose of the world. And so, with that, I believe that Rambam writes that, and my mother writes that, the perfect. That's, that's why Hashem created the world. With that, something amazing happens. Another one? We reveal Hashem's mercy, so when we pray, Hashem wants us to have the best, the most, the amazing villas, uh, beautiful home, beautiful marriage, children, health, happiness, holiness, joy, shefa, everything, bounty in every kind, shape, and form. But what we need to do and remember is that He wants to hear from us. He wants us to have a relationship. Because without the relationship with Hashem, without the relationship with Hashem, if you receive the villa and you receive the house and the wife and the bounty and the everything, then you're arrogant. And you're not connecting it to its source. You're not realizing this comes from God. So without the relationship, all that stuff brings it to arrogance. And the Hashem can't stand with the arrogant. So meaning there's no Hashem. God's not with you. How can that be? I'm ready to go the video. If God's not with you, you miss the whole purpose. So we want to receive. Hashem wants to give no, us. To but the way He gives us is through prayer. And that's why prayer is, is higher 
is more powerful than the powers of nature. Love you guys very much. Five minutes a day. Talk to you soon.